so a couple things here. Um, you know, there's definitely the fastest, Exolytics is the fastest growing um, engineered system that Oracle has brought to market. Um, we definitely are seeing, you know, just fast is, is relative, right? So the fast is actually the runtime performance of some of these applications that have been migrated to this platform. Um, customers have seen, and we'll talk through some of those benefits. But overall, we're seeing a f fantastic ratio of cost versus performance against commodity hardware as customers are looking to migrate their existing applications, again, across discovery applications, across planning and budgeting applications, as well as business intelligence applications. Optimized hardware is what really brings us to those, those key benefits of fastest and best cost. We have two different versions of Exolytics that we are currently, that are currently available. The first one that is available is an X3-4 is the name of that unit. It has 40 Intel cores um, and the, the, the specifics of two terabytes of DRAM, 2.4 flash, and 5.4 terabytes of hard disk. So hopefully that um, is, a, is a box that most customers um, are really excited about. There are customers that are buying more than one box at a time, and we'll talk through some of those use cases. We've recently introduced a SunSpark version. So with the success of the Spark chip, we thought it was appropriate to have a T5-8 for customers that are consistent with the architectures they roll out if they're powered by the Spark platform. We have a larger machine um, that has uh, four, point, you know, four terabytes, 3.2 flash, and 7.2 terabytes of hard disk. By having both of these machines, again, the software is optimized for those environments, and that allows us to generate some breakthroughs in the technology. So the same software that has been around for 15 plus years, 17 plus years, the enhancements that we're seeing are geared toward these engineered systems. The reason why we're doing in software enhancements on the engineered systems is because we're able to do it, because we have a configuration that we know is repeatable, that is predictable with our customers, we're able to enable some features. And some of those are listed there below software breakthroughs. I'll talk about a couple of those as we get into it, um, but I just wanted to make sure that you knew that the features that we designed for Exolytics also plug and play with the other engineered systems. So for example, there's optimizations that are built with Exolytics that will further uh, leverage the optimizations in Exadata, as an example, and other engineered systems. But all the engineered uh, improvements definitely fit on both the X3.4 and the T5. So if we go to the next slide, let's talk about the in-memory capabilities. Um, in-memory has been a pretty big buzzword in terms of databases, some of our competitors. We've been doing in-memory for a very, very long time. So hopefully the Exolytics in-memory machine slide is up. And we have a couple in-memory databases. Um, there's things that are happening on the Exadata side, but these are specific to Exolytics. So we leverage um, a couple different uh, products. So those of you that know Indeca or the discovery application, a lot of that data resides in memory. The S-based data re resides in memory for certain types of cubes. And then we specifically for OBIEE have embraced a parallelized version of times 10 with some advanced columnar compression to allow us to get large amounts of data out of heterogeneous data sets and get those loaded into memory so that it's speed of thought, instantaneous response time. On top of that, we've added an adaptive heuristic in memory cache that allows you to kind of leverage what's in memory based on usage patterns, based on data volumes, based on uh, consumer, user, end user access and interests, just to distribute the analytical workload appropriately. And then why would you want to have something in memory if you didn't support in-memory calculations and in-memory functions? So the last bullet there really shows that to load it in memory is great, but then to be able to derive and do computations on the data that lives in memory is exactly what will deliver high density visualizations, not just passing through what's in memory, but actually sorting or divide by, or you know, more sophisticated in memory analytic calculations will allow people to build even better classes of application. So let's go to the next slide. And I touched on this earlier, it's even better with Exadata. So one of the common questions we get is we're not an Exadata customer, but we're interested in Exolytics. That is completely fine to start with Exolytics, but if customers that have already embraced our engineered systems, which most likely is Exadata, given that was the first one brought to market, we, as I've touched on, the optimization at the software level is important, but we also have the plug and play on the InfiniBand, right? So we actually have plumbing that connects these two boxes to allow us to speed up uh, the process and the performance that we're seeing. Let's go to the next area that I think demonstrates some differentiation with, with Exolytics. Adaptive yeah. in-memory. I'm sorry, go ahead. No, I was just going to say, I said we are on the next slide. Okay, so the adaptive in-memory data mart, right? So this is, this has two, uh, I think, a build here. I think there's two different uh, things. At the lower part of the graphic is all the different data sources that we're able to connect to, right? So the Oracle BI product family is not tied just to the Oracle data. There's common uh, areas of 
SQL Server, DB2, Teradata, we've had a lot of different customers embrace different data warehousing strategies to stand up this, this platform. In those cases, we're able to go across all of the data sources that we're able to connect to, and we identify the hot spots. And then we've built software that's called Summary Advisor to actually determine not only what the hot spots are, but how the data should then be moved and loaded into this adaptive in-memory data mark is one way to think of it. So this graphic is just to illustrate the software benefits of how we actually drive the in-memory capability and that it's not, uh, doesn't require tremendous manual intervention to actually create those environments. The next slide, uh, every, why is it in-memory? Why is everything in-memory? Because if we do the build, lower memory costs and fast performance. So the memory cost has fallen dramatically. Everyone is using it, everyone from a laptop all the way up to high-end servers, and we can take advantage of that as well. And the reason we're doing that is because we can build deeper applications. So as an example, uh, the better planning. Perhaps we're only planning by product category or by product family, or we're only at the week level instead of the day level. So this, this additional capability of, of memory decreasing in, in cost makes it completely reasonable and makes financial sense to actually load in at a lower granular level of data to actually do the, the planning step to make sure that things are, are executing the way. And from an end user perspective, we're able to deliver speed of thought analysis. So instead of having those classic go buttons where you pick your region, pick your product, pick your time period, hit go, and wait for the query to come back, it's speed of thought. So the software turns off those kinds of buttons and allows you just to have drop downs to actually kind of filter through the data and have a conversation with your data and remove some of the training or some of the the reclicks, uh, or that's not what I want to go back and populate the prompts or the filters and then hit go again. Again, Oracle is one of the only companies that has the hardware and the software where we're experts on both and we engineer them together, and in this case, to really maximize the memory. So what does all the software stuff bring to the table? Why, why does it matter? It's cool, right? Everybody's excited about technology, but at the end of the day, why would we want to even consider this? I think it's important to understand some Exolytics benefits. So if we go to that Exolytics benefits title slide, I will pass over to Gurbina for her to go through a few slides and then she'll pass back to me.